stepping out in style. Yes. See, I am also stepping out in style. Hello, guys. Welcome back to this channel. My old shoes aren't fitting me. Probably that's an indication that I'm growing. Anyways, I have to go and buy a new pair of shoes for me. So I thought, why not learn English through shoes? Isn't that a great, marvelous idea? I'll be talking about different idioms, phrases, and vocabulary words. After watching this video, I assure you, it will add something new in your English. So let's go off without a hitch. talking about different types of shoes what are these these are called flip flops flip flops flip flops वैसे तो flip flops का मतलब होता है एक प्रकार का स्लीपर्स होती है लेकिन उसका एक और भी मतलब होता है और वो क्या अभी आपको बता देती हूं flip flop means a complete and sudden change of someone's plans or opinions for example politicians often flip flop their decisions after elections so friends be aware of those politicians the next type of shoe is high heel shoes high heel shoes they are also known as high heels this word heels rang a bell means it reminded me another idiom but what is the idiom the idiom is achilles heel and it means if someone is very strong but there is a small weakness in him or her which prevents his or her success that small weakness is called achilles heel matlab agar kisi ke paas bahut zyada strength ya capability hai lekin usme ek choti si kami hai jo use success hone se rokti hai ya fir uski safalta asafalta ka karan banti hai use kehte hain achilles heel this idiom achilles heel originated from the greek hero Achilles he was very strong but there was a small weakness with him he had a weak heel that caused his downfall oh my god um math has always been my achilles heel let's take another example my sister harika loves chocolate so chocolate is her achilles heel now it's your turn what is your achilles heel this word heel rings another bell means it reminded me another idiom but what is the idiom the idiom is to bring someone to heel to bring someone to heel for example i need to bring my brother to heel means my brother is out of control and i need to control him bring someone to heel matlab koi niyantran se bahar hai lekin use niyantran lekin use niyantrit karna hai use kehte hain bring someone to heel this type of shoe is called block heel shoe where the heel is a little bit thicker than pointed heel shoes these are all called pointed heel shoes I should take green. No, green I don't want. How about white? No, it is plain and it will get dirty very easily. I should not take white. And then what should I take? Mm. Ah, sky blue. Yes. I'll take sky blue. No, not sky blue. Yes, pink. I think pink would be better. I like pink. These are slip on shoe they are also known as belly these are called slip on shoes slip on shoes they are staple for many busy men and women but what does staple mean staple means main basic regular or standard they are also known as easy to put on shoes easy to put on shoes in sports category this is also slip on shoe these are called sandals sandals i love to wear them when the weather is warm this is called a boot if you want to say apna boot pehno to fir aap kahenge zip up your boot 
Zip up your boot. But if you want to say, apna boot utaro, you can say, unzip your boot. Unzip your boot. Zip up your boot. This is also a boot. This is made up of synthetic leather and this is made up of suede leather. This is called sports shoes. This, this is used for running and other sports or gym purposes. Let's talk about next shoe. This is dress shoes. Dress shoes. Or I would say formal shoes. And they are suitable for wearing with formal clothes. Generally they are for gents. Now I'll be talking about different parts of a shoe. The first is laces. These funny looking things which you tie up, these are called laces. But if you want to say somebody ki haan apne laces bandh lo, usse ta hum usse kahenge, do up your laces, do up your laces, do up your laces. And these small holes, ye chote chote jo holes hain, jinke through your laces jate hain, unko kehte hain eyelets, eyelets. यहाँ पे भी आईलेट्स हैं। This is the toe wamp, toe cap, and this is the heel, and this hole is called the sole. Then the middle portion of the shoe is called arch, arch, arch. It is the portion where it, the shoe just bends like this. This is the pull up. Most people don't know about it. People put their finger in and then wear their shoe. But no, that's the wrong way. We should put our hand inside this pull up and then wear our shoe. That's why the pull up is provided. This is the heel counter. This is the collar. And finally, the tongue of the shoe. It seems like a tongue. Isko oh. dekhiye. इसको कहते हैं वेलक्रो वेलक्रो अगर मैं कहूँ आपने ऐसे ऐसे अपना शू पहन लो लेकिन यहाँ पे वेलक्रो तो मैं कहूँगी वेलक्रो या शू या फिर फासन या शू लेकिन अगर आप उतारना चाहते हो तो कहो अनफासन या शू और ये एक और चीज़ देखिए ये क्या है देखिए ये है स्ट्रैप ये क्या है ये है स्ट्रैप और ये है बकल बकल और ये है बकल सो मैं कहूँगी अगर मैं ऐसे कहूँगी कहूँगी बकल अप प्योर स्ट्रैप क्या कहूँगी बकल अप प्योर स्ट्रैप या फिर कहूँगी फैसन या स्ट्रैप जनरली स्कूल शूज में होता है देखिए कुछ स्कूल शूज में कह सकते हैं वेल क्रोयर शू या फिर फैसन या अनफैसन यर शू और कुछ कुछ जो गर्ल्स के बैलीज टाइप के होते हैं ना स्कूल स्कूल शूज उनके लिए आप कह सकते हो बकल आप प्योर स्ट्रैप देखिए ये है स्ट्रैप और ये हुआ ये है स्ट्रैप जैसे मेरे बाल जैसे है और अगर मैं ऐसे कहूँ तो ये हुआ बक ये हुआ बकल ये हुआ बकल ये हुआ स्ट्रैप कंफ्यूज मत होइए तो बकल आप प्योर स्ट्रैप इसके लिए बकल आप प्योर स्ट्रैप या फिर फैसन फासन या अनफासन या स्ट्रैप उसके लिए वेलक्रो योर शू या फिर फासन या अनफासन ये शू अगर आपको आपको क्या अच्छा लगा आप ऐसे वेलक्रो वाले शू यानी कि वेलक्रो वाले शू ज़्यादा पसंद आते हैं है? या फिर ये ऐसे प्रकार के कमेंट बॉक्स में लिख लीजिए दीज टू शूज रिमाइंडेड मी एन एरियम बट वॉट इज द एरियम द एरियम इज गुडी टू शूज गुडी टू शूज मतलब बहुत भला इंसान यू नो द पर्सन हु डज ऑल हिज होम वर्क एंड बीज ऑन टाइम इज नाइस टू एवरीबडी इन स्कूल इज कॉल्ड गुडी टू शूज यू नो वॉट आई एम गुडी टू शूज वट अबाउट यू आई थिंक यू आर गुडी टू शूज आर यू द नेक्स्ट वन आई वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट इज अ शू इन शू इन बट वॉट डज इट मीन But before I tell you the meaning, I want to talk about talk about its spelling. You might say "shoe in." This word "shoe" sounds like S H O E shoe, but no, it is spelled differently. It is S H O O dash I N shoe in. Now I'll start be talking about the meaning. Shoe in means if someone is a shoe in for a job or situation, means he's the perfect person. For the job or situation, for example, Rita is the shoe in for the job. Means Rita is the perfect 
person to get the job. Remember? Do you remember these funny looking things? Laces? Laces, don't they look like string? Someone may call them shoestring. Shoestring? Shoestring rings a bell. It reminds me an idiom. But what is the idiom? The idiom is on a shoestring budget. But what does it mean? It means an inadequate or small budget. Inadequate, insufficient or small budget. That is called shoestring budget. For example, I am on a shoestring budget means I have a small budget. For example, if you have a 500 rupees with you and you can't buy much things, if, uh, you can't buy much things and you have to use your money very judici judiciously. Means very carefully. You can say, I am on a shoestring budget. Now let's go to the bottom of the shoe. What is this? Do you remember? Soul. Soul. So if I say soul purpose, soul purpose means only one or one particular purpose. For example, my sole purpose here is to talk about shoes. Means the only purpose here for me is to talk about shoes. For example, your sole purpose here is to learn English and make yourself happy. Matlab ki aapka yaha ek hi purpose hai yaha pe ki aap English seekhna chahte hain aur khud ko khushi rakhna chahte hain. Means your only job here is to come here, learn English and make yourself happy. For example, sole authority or sole survivor. The next one I want to talk about is stepping out in style. Stepping out in style. When you wear your shoes, you step right like this. We take steps like this. You step, right? But when you say stepping out in style, it means you are going out that to wearing very nice dresses, stylish dresses, shoes and all that and then going out. That's it. Then we say stepping out in style. For example, if somebody is wearing very beautiful dress, shoes and all that and it's coming and he's a, he or she is coming out, you can say, hey, you are stepping out in style. Hey, you are stepping out in style. Yes? See, I am also stepping out in style. <laughs> like share and subscribe this channel and yes please don't forget to press the bell icon below to get updates of our new videos and yes please don't forget to if you are new here in our channel then don't forget to press the subscribe button below or the red button below and if and if you are not new then please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up